Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Susquehanna River Valley by Nitro Dad. And uh, we've advanced the clock one more day here into day five, late spring. And we've got uh, quite a bit of work to do today. And so first off, uh, we are going to change our sprayer over to fertilizer. Uh, because there's a, a couple of contracts up that I think we can make a fair amount of money on if we were to uh, set up a worker to do a little bit of fertilizing while we uh, get the planter going to get our cornfield planted. And so we're going to go ahead and start with that. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I've got a fair amount of fertilizer in this nurse trailer already. So we're just going to try and fill up out of that real quick. And there we go. And we should be able to uh, go ahead and get this guy going on a contract. If we look here, uh, I was looking at the contracts, and I think one of these fields right near us here has a fertilizing contract. So we're going to go ahead and grab that to start with. And uh, the reason I'm going to keep doing a little bit of these contracts is we are losing money rapidly. And so it's still spring, and we're already down to $37,000. I think we lose a little over $3,000 a day right now. And so we're uh, just trying to stay afloat here with uh, our finances until we can get to harvest and start making a little bit of money. And so this is going to be one of the ways that we can do that. Now, I think the field we just took a contract on is field 136, which looks like it's the uh, second field up here on our right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, use a worker to help us out with this, uh, just because we can't be in two places at once. And I think this is going to be uh, a better job for the worker than planting corn is going to be. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward field, so we're going to go ahead and pull off the road here while we get this thing unfolded. And I don't think we're even going to bother with uh, the headlands or anything, because I think once I get this going, and in fact this is like two passes here, if that, um, the worker's going to be able to take care of the rest of this. So I'm just going to square this guy off, tell him to uh, get going get out of his way here and uh, let him go to town here and so that leaves us back up here at the farm to get the uh, planter going here now in order to start planting there's a few things we need first off since we are planting corn we're gonna need to fill up the fertilizer here so we're gonna do that real quick while we're sitting in the shed here right next to that nurse trailer and then we're also going to need uh, some seed. Now, I think we've got to go grab the truck with the uh, seed on the trailer here. We left that in the garage here by the house. So we've been using a fair amount of the seed already. We're through two pallets of it so far. And so I think that uh, we're going to be good, obviously, for this year with the seed that we have. I don't think we're going to need to refill this planter. Um, even one more time. I think we'll have enough in here to do this field that's left. We might have to fill it once. We'll see. Um, but either way, we've got plenty of seed there. So um, we just need to be careful that we're going to plant the right crop once we get out there. I always forget to uh, set my planter up appropriately before we jump out into a job. I've uh, really been liking this uh, planter tractor setup I think it's a good combination um, the planter's got just a couple of minor issues uh, in that it, does, it isn't overly uh, compatible with the manual attach mods so um, I've had a couple of issues here and there when I want to disconnect it and reconnect it but other than that it's been just an absolutely awesome mod and uh, this tractor as well um, this is a good combination. I really like the uh, mods that Carl Farms has done. He's done quite a number of uh, good case mods. So so I'm just thinking we're going to go up and around on the high side here uh, first while we're doing this uh, bit. And then we'll uh, take the up and down rows the long way here on this field. will be the easiest way to do it. Um, plus that'll put us more or less on the side hill for most of the work here. So 
Uh, I don't expect we'll have too many problems driving up the hill uh, with this planting rig, but uh, that'll give us our best chances for success. And I just want to check that we've got automatic uh, fertilizer rates turned on here. And then we're going to get this thing going. Uh, I'm just going to turn on our mini map here for a second to make sure precision farming is working accurately. It looks like we are fertilizing uh, the ground behind us. So that's what I would expect to see. If we turn that off and turn this on, we're putting down quite a bit of uh, nitrogen, but that's normal for corn. So we're going to let that go and tackle this field here. It looks like we're already done with our spraying contract. So if I pop into the menu here, we should be able to... Nope, he's still got a little bit left. Well, at least we're not paying for the worker. We'll have to go down there and see uh, which part he didn't get done so that we can get paid here but we've got just a little bit of time to worry about that luckily as far as i know contracts don't expire or have a time limit at this point in the game and so we're gonna we're gonna sit on that for a little bit maybe once we get the headlands done here on this field we'll uh let the worker do a few up and down rows while we go and sort that out now the plan with this cornfield is to uh, do a little bit of uh, silage on it because we do need some uh, silage for our TMR feed, but then we also need some regular corn for our uh, feed as well. And so we're going to be doing a combination of uh, normal harvest here to get some corn stored up to make our TMR, as well as uh, chop some silage uh, to aid me. TMR creation process so um, this field is going to be multi-purpose I'm not quite sure which parts or how we're going to tackle um, getting in here to do some silage before we uh, harvest but uh, we're, we'll figure that out when we get in closer to late summer here I imagine now this will be the uh, true test to see how well this tractor pulls the planter as we start going uphill here um, this isn't the steepest of hills but um, I've noticed in farm sim that hills have a fairly drastic effect on uh, equipment as you start going up and down hills well really more up than down but uh, I don't see the I don't see that we're having any problems here it seems to be working a-okay I'll be curious to see what kind of uh, impact tillage has in this field when we get around to that next time since uh, following corn, at least with how we have uh, the game set up right now with seasons and everything, we will need to do some tillage after uh, this harvest. And that's the main headland row. I don't know that I really need to do another pass. I'm kind of thinking we'll go ahead and take this path and get a GPS track set up here. I think that that's going to be the easiest to just kind of split the difference on this field and uh, start tackling our long rows right out of the gate. And then uh, as we get down there, we can just uh, turn into our right here, tackle all these long rows, and we'll be good to go. Um, I want to get this first pass done, and then once we turn around and I'm down here by this fence, uh, we'll let the worker take it back up, and I'll run over and check on this sprayer, see if we can knock this contract out. Looks like I lined that up pretty good from the other side of the field. We uh, came in right about where I wanted to. We're going to just uh, get this guy whipped right back around here square him up on the GPS track, make sure that that's all working appropriately. It looks like we're in the right spot. And so if I just uh, turn that off and hand it over to the worker, he should be good to go for a moment. Although I really wanted to see how fast we were going to go up and down that hill. What was this guy trying to do? He somehow got way over here and was trying to spray the other field. 
which is a little bit of a waste. So we're going to bring him in here, see if we can sort out which parts he didn't spray. It looks like there's a pass in this corner here that needs to get sprayed. And uh, as you can see, I forgot to increase the speed on the sprayer, so we'll uh, have to remember to do that here yet at some point, although we don't have that much spraying left to do of our own fields at this point. And that's going to wrap up our contract here. So if we just come in here and collect that contract, we can take a quick look and see that there is maybe a couple more fertilizing ones. Field 68 is a pretty big contract, and field 83 as well. Uh, 68 and 83 would be some, 83 especially is some distance away. Uh, 68 as well, so I'm not sure I'm quite up for uh, that trek at the moment. So I think what we're going to do is run this right back up to the farm here. And uh, we might switch over and do a couple more cultivating contracts at some point. Although um, this tractor is uh, maybe not quite enough horsepower for that. And uh, what is our planter doing? He turned and came back down the way we'd already planted. Hang on. We're going to leave this guy here and go check on uh, go check on the planter here. See if we can figure out what's going on. Well, it looks like he's figured it out, I guess, at least to uh, get on a path that needs to be planted. I'm not exactly ecstatic about uh, the fact that we probably wasted some corn and fertilizer there. Alright, we're back up here at the yard. And we're going to go ahead and drop this sprayer, I think. And there are quite a few cultivating contracts out there still. So what we're going to do is grab this disc and bring it out to the field. And I think we're going to switch these tractors up. Um... A lot of people have wanted me to try the 8950 out on the uh, planter, and so this will be a good excuse to give that a shot. And we'll put the larger uh, M-Hex on here with the front wheel assist. I am hoping that'll do a little bit job of pulling this tillage on the hills. And I think we might go out and tackle, you know, maybe two uh, tillage contracts as well in the background while we're getting our field planted here. Um, I think that'll be a uh, good uh, mix here of uh, time and resources. So we'll go ahead and drop this right in this area here. And uh, as that uh, other tractor with the planter gets up here, I'll swap them out. Yeah, this uh, MX doesn't seem to be having any problems pulling this uh, planter up the hill. So it'll be curious for me to see what happens when we swap this out with the smaller tractor to see if there's any difference um, but really this has been going uh, just as well as I was expecting it to go so let's uh, go ahead and just swap this out right here all right so we got this all hooked up here I'm uh, hoping that this is gonna work out okay and so we're going to get it going on these short rows again real quick. And then we'll, uh, we'll worry about how it's working on the bigger, longer rows over there. And uh, a smidge, I think uh, it's going to at least be able to handle this part. And so we'll let him uh, keep chugging there. And we'll go get this big uh, tillage implement. And we'll go get this uh, piece of tillage uh, working here out in one of the other fields. If I take a look here, uh, we had a couple of them um, here that are pretty big. 111 was one of them that was a pretty big uh, tillage. 110 is also another one. So I think I'll grab this biggest one. That way if I uh, get tired of doing tillage, I've forced myself to do just one. should have grabbed 110. 111 is... Uh, Kind of a uh, crooked field there, but that's okay. I'm sure the worker will be able to handle some of those angles. And so we're going to run this guy right out there real quick. It looks like our worker here will finish this last pass relatively uh, soon here. And then we'll be able to come back out here and 
put that 8950 through the paces on the side hill ourselves because I really wanted to see uh, how this uh, slightly smaller tractor is going to handle that planter on the hills. We know the MX here was uh, doing just fine, so. So I don't actually uh, know how to get over to field 111 off of the top of my head. Well, let's take a quick look at the map. It's this field here, but I don't think I can get onto this. This is the freeway, so I think I've got to come all the way up here, go under the freeway or over. I'm not sure if that's an under or an over, and then uh, come down and around on this path here. So that's what we're going to try and do here. And so I think that's going to take us right through the middle of this little town, which is okay. Um... I don't know what these blue roads are either. There's a legend. City streets versus two-lane paved. I'm not sure what that means. Let's go check it out. So on the right here, we've got the Hershey plant. Um, and then on the left, we've got the bakery, which is cool. And so those are both uh, big sell points here. And then it looks like as we get up here, um, it goes from this two lane down to a uh, one lane kind of city street type deal. So that makes more sense now that I uh, understand what the legend was saying. What's going to happen here, though, is I think I'm going to take out a mailbox because uh, I don't think I'm going to have enough room between this fence and these mailboxes. Oh, maybe I will. But we'll definitely need to avoid coming down these little city streets in the future with our big tillage tools. There's just not enough room for us here. So we're going to get back on a main road here. And if we just follow this up and around, it should take us right to where we need to go. And this is an up and over the interstate, it looks like which is kind of cool and dead ahead of us is going to be that field 110 which means field 111 will be over here to the right so we're going to go ahead and take this turn here around to the right and uh 110 would have been a pretty big field at least these are pretty flat fields so we don't have to worry too much about uh the hill slowing us down and it looks like we've got a gate through this fence right over here, so we should be able to go ahead and get a start on uh, this tillage here pretty quick-like. Uh, we're going to just kind of pull into the middle here and get our gates opened up. And I'm just trying to think about what the best way to tackle this field is going to be. Probably to... Uh, Come down here and start. I'm trying to think. Uh, we got a pretty big uh, grassy spot up here, so we probably only need one headland up here on the top, and then we'll do uh, two passes along the angled side on the freeway there, where we're going to need to have a little bit more room to turn around. And so this is uh, quite the interesting triangular field layouts always uh makes it fun for dealing with workers but uh the nice thing with a decent sized field like this is that we're going to be able to um kind of get going and just let it go uh, i don't think there's going to be a lot of issues with obstructions or anything like that here all right we made the corner there and now we're Taking this angled uh, lane down alongside the freeway here. We've got a bit of grass on the side of the freeway here between us and that fence. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if I could get away with just having the one headland pass here. Um, I think that's probably going to be enough with the worker. We, I, I think I want to try it uh, just to get that going uh, so that we can jump back over and get into our planting. Uh, worst case, we'll get a message that the worker got hung up and we can always come back down and uh, work on 
widening this out a little bit. So I think we're going to take the risk here. When we get down to the corner, uh, we're going to get him lined up along this uh, long side by the fence and just send him on his way and see what happens. I'm uh, super amused that uh, Nitro Dad's got the Farm Sim Show billboard here in the game. Pretty awesome. And just in case you wanted to uh, stare at DJ and Clutch while you're knocking out the acres of tillage, your dreams can come true. All right, so we're good to go on this corner here. And the only thing I'm worried about is this uh, fence. So I'm kind of trying to figure out the best place to line up here. I think we're just going to go for this. Um, we are going to end up in the grass a bit as we keep going here. So I'm going to just run up and we're going to close this fence. I think that's going to, or close this gates, I guess I should say. And that should solve any problems we have with running into those. And if I just jump back in this tractor, like, I think it's going to be okay. So we're going to go ahead and trust that the tractor will be able to figure that out on the other end. And we're going to get back down here and see what we can do with this uh, 8950. I'm super, super curious to see how well this is going to work. Uh, but it looks like we need to get some seed in here first. And so we're going to have to deal with that. It's uh, definitely pulling hard up this hill. So the MX was doing a lot better job of it. Um, it's acting like I don't have my hoses hooked up, kind of, though. Like, I'm not sure what's going on, because I'm not getting the RPMs uh, to go up much here. But, uh, I guess we'll see what happens here. I mean, I don't have the planter on or anything, so it usually goes a bit faster when you're in a scenario like that. But we're going to put it right here and go grab the seed and trailer. We tossed one of these uh, partial pallets of uh, liquid fertilizer onto the trailer as well. Just to get everything we need out here to the planter real quick. I suppose we could have gone back up and grabbed the nurse trailer that we've got. But uh, honestly, I didn't think of it. And so first off, we're going to get our corn loaded up here. Which should go pretty quick. And then I'm going to see if I can back up just a little bit to get close enough to this liquid fertilizer, which doesn't seem to be working. So we're going to pull this truck up just a bit. I think if we put it somewhere around there. Uh, maybe not. But here we go. Alright, we've got this thing all filled up. Let's take it down over here and see how it's going to do. Um, we're having a little bit of struggles on the side hill, just driving in general. So I'm expecting it's going to pull pretty hard coming back up this hill uh, with the 8950 here. But we'll find out. And of course, because we switched tractors, we no longer have a uh, GPS track set up for ourselves. So we're going to have to do that real quick as well. Something about like that should work, although we're maybe just a smidge off. Oops, let's see if I can correct to the left just a smidge. As you can see, we've got that tiniest line there that uh, we weren't uh, planting overlap, but that's okay. We'll live with that. This seems to be going just fine downhill, as one would expect. But the moment of truth is here. We need to see what happens when we get turned around. We did not get squared up here. We're going to back up and square this planter up a little bit better. There we go. Alright, it seems to be doing okay on this flat lower part. We're at 8 miles an hour. 
So uh, maybe it's just uh, lugging it around a little bit on the turns on some of those steeper parts because this seems to be going A-OK, -okay, no problems. And this is a pretty steep hill. Eight miles an hour, we're doing pretty good. So I was uh, concerned for no reason whatsoever. And so, uh, yeah, I'm inclined to agree with everybody. This is probably the better uh, setup from a... Uh, uh, equipment that we have on the farm right now where running the 8950 on the planter um, definitely going to uh, let us free up the MX for the tillage it seems to handle the hills a lot better uh, and this one is going to handle it good enough for the planter uh, whereas with tillage I uh, this tractor obviously struggled quite a bit so uh, I'm definitely digging this we're going to keep uh going here i mean we've only got three four passes left here but uh this is a good lessons learned for next season especially and there we go we're all planted here so we're gonna just uh leave the rest of the seed and fertilizer in this uh planter for the time being because i think there's probably a good chance that we will uh take on maybe a another planting contract here at some point and so I don't know that we're going to do that today, but I want to leave this guy kind of going here. I do want to come up and check. It looks like the cultivating contract seems to be going okay up here. And so we're going to check on that in just a moment. But uh, I want to get all this equipment back up to the farm first. And then once we're done with that cultivating contract, we'll kind of uh, take a look and see what's going on what other options we have for today all right so we've got all of our equipment put away here and uh, we're coming up here to check on how the cultivating contract is going here our uh, worker is making some pretty good progress here i'm not too worried about it let's go ahead and jump into the contract menu here you can see we're already at 26 percent and so that's actually uh pretty good and this is going to cover a couple of days worth of our loan uh, fees and so even though we're going to pay a few dollars for the worker to tackle this for us that's uh, not too bad of a trade-off and so I just want to see how inefficiently we're turning around here with the angled rows as long as it's not too overly inefficient uh, we're probably going to let this worker keep doing its thing and uh, wrap this all up off camera for us. So it looks like they are going to do a pretty big uh, back up here. I'm thinking maybe what we'll do is take over from this worker and widen out this headland another pass. I think that's going to really make things a little bit easier on everybody involved and uh, let us get this job done a little bit faster because if we're going to spend half of our time each pass uh, turning around this job might take quite a while all right so i've taken off a whole second uh, headland pass here on both the angled row as well as up here next to the ravine and just to maximize our worker efficiencies and so I'm going to go ahead and start a worker back off on this job. And I think we're going to let the worker finish this contract out for us off camera and uh, check back in next episode on this. We have uh, made some good progress today. We've got our corn planted finally. Uh, we did a little bit of a spraying contract. We're doing, the con uh, we're doing a cultivating contract here. And so we're in pretty good shape, all things considered. That's all for today. Ketterk, out. And at some point, we're going to really need to get that uh, pressure washer. Oh, I took out the sign. No.